So the, the grapes have been loaded into this large pneumatic press here. So they come in from the top. And what happens is the press gently squeezes the grapes. So the juice that you see coming from this press is actually grape juice. So it's wine before it becomes wine. Amazing. England is a part of the world right now in the wine industry, which is uh, the source of a lot of attention. People are really excited about the sparkling wines being made here. People are saying that this is some of the best sparkling wine happening in the world outside of Champagne. And we came here today to check in with one of the top producers of sparkling wine. So this is the carbon dioxide being released from the fermentation. So fermentation, in essence, is a catalytic reaction. The yeast needs something to eat, it eats the sugar, and it converts the sugar into alcohol, and the byproduct of, of the catalytic reaction is carbon dioxide. It, it is one of the most exciting places to, to be making wine at the moment, and I've been lucky enough to make wine in lots of places around the world, and never thought I'd be coming back to England, really, to be a winemaker, seriously. We're trying to experiment with what exactly English wine is, and what makes you different, uh, as opposed to what makes you the same as Champagne. So we're really trying to experiment what that is, and part of that is the, the soils and the vineyards we have, and, and a part of that also is just trying to embrace that lovely vibrancy and freshness that you get with English sparkling wine that makes you different from other sparkling wines. Okay. okay. Cheers. Great to meet you. Likewise. Thank you. So this uh, is, I think, typical of a really fine Champagne Method wine um, in its fullness and suppleness on the palate. Um, there is a very bright and persistent acidity which starts kind of at the front of the palate but moves all the way uh, to the rear palate. So the finish is quite long, uh, which is really nice. Um, and the fruit itself is a little bit of uh, the apple quality that you might expect to see from some Chardonnay, but also there is a, a bit of savoriness too. So there's some uh, nuance in the fruit characteristics. Um, and again, a little bit of this, uh, this toasty, yeasty quality that we uh, were just talking about. It's quite good wine. Beautiful. Great description. Oh, cool. <laughs> this is basically an old world region making new world wines, which means that they're not burdened by all of the traditions of other parts of the world. So they have the ability to make some of the best sparkling wines in the world, but I think that we should start to look at this region as a place that can stand on its own instead of comparing it to Champagne.